What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counterpunch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Robert Garcia. Get this. Robert Garcia states, if Crawford's not next for Virgil Ortiz, Boachuk deserves a rematch. Of course, Ortiz Jr. is coming off a hard fight, easily the hardest fight of his career, given that Ortiz's close win over Borachuk was the first time that the junior middleweight contender had gone the distance, okay, because he had a perfect record like Better Be Ev. That's gone. The obvious question is what Ortiz will do at 154. The question that will be asked before Ortiz is went to before that was being asked even before he went to war with Boachuk. There you go. In the next few months, uh, Robert Garcia states, in the next few months, I think he's going to have to rest, enjoy his family, go home and take some time off. He deserves it. He's earned it. This was a brutal fight. Okay. He said, um, Ortiz and Boachuk were not post time. Okay. He said, Garcia praised Crawford as a great fighter in pound for pound, one of the best in the world. He said, that's the fight that we'll be after. That's the fight that we would like. And hopefully Rick Meridian, Ortiz's manager, Golden Boy Promotions, Turkey al Sheik, whose Riyadh season has been bankrolling several major boxing matches late. Hopefully they put it together, Garcia said. Hopefully Crawford also is okay with the fight. I don't know what his plans are. He's chasing a Canelo fight. I don't know if he'll get that. He might get it. I don't know. So we also have to see on what plans. All the efforts will be made for Ortiz to fight Terrence Crawford early next year. The rematch is something that we could consider. Garcia said it was a great fight. It was very close. So definitely if the offers there for Crawford, if, if it's not there, then we will take a rematch. Definitely. He fought his ass off, so he came and surprised the world. Those are the words of Robert Garcia, and let me counterpunch. Robert Garcia is saying that because he knows how close that fight was. You you won't catch him saying that his trainer or his fighter rather lost. No, you're not going to hear him say that. You know he's not supposed to say that. You know, but I think his way of giving appreciation to Boa Chuck is, you know what? If we don't get the Ortiz fight, I mean the Terrence Crawford fight, we're just going to go in with Boa Chuck again. Why not? Let's beat him more convincingly than we did last time, if we did it all. Right. And I think that's a good idea. I like the mindset of Ryan Garcia. I mean, of Robert Garcia, because Robert knows that, hey, that was a hard fight. He knows that Virgil Ortiz was definitely challenged. That's why his recommendations were to Gail go home, rest, be with his family, heal, because he did take a beating as well. He gave a beating and he took one at the same damn time. So that's what you uh, account as one of those uh, uh, fight of the year possibilities. OK, um, but will he get it? More than likely, he'll get the Terrence Crawford fight. So we probably won't see a Boa Chuck. <laughs> but if um, Terrence Crawford doesn't get it, you know, that would be the next fight in line. You know, so but you guys tell me what you think of Robert Garcia surprisingly stating that they will honor a rematch with Boa Chuck if they don't get the Terrence Crawford fight. Let's see if that happens. Let's hope that happens. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunch. Peace.